So we have a lot of ClickUp tutorials on our channel. If you are new around here, my name is Christy. I'm the CEO and founder of DeSilva Life, and I am a HoneyBook Pro and a verified ClickUp consultant. So systems and processes are our jam. I love creating helpful tutorials and content for you guys that are overall videos, like how to use ClickUp in 2023, and then also very specific use case videos, like how to map out your YouTube process in ClickUp, right? But a common question that we get is, you know, your videos are very helpful and I've been able to set it up for different areas and use cases of my business, but now what does your day to day in ClickUp look like? What do you start with? How do you not get overwhelmed by all the things that you've built in here and you stay on track, you stay organized? So that being said, I'm so happy to make this video for you guys about my daily ClickUp routine. How am I managing? all the things that we've built, how am I managing my schedule, my team, my client projects, all of the above on a daily basis. Well, I have anchored in like really strong routines. ClickUp is my ride or die. And there are a couple things too, like my morning AM checklist, my evening PM admin and team checklist, different things that I live by. And if ClickUp goes down or my internet's down, I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do today? <laughs> So I hope this video gives you helpful insight into, okay, now that you set everything up, what are some tangible ways to bring this all together and create your own ClickUp routine? So with that, let's dive in. Let's go through my routine. Okay, so one of the first things that I do every single morning, which is absolutely crucial, is check in on my AM client and admin check in task. I have an AM check in task and a PM check in task. I feel like once our business started growing and we had more clients, projects, team, community, everything things started to slip through the cracks and there would be days that would pass that I'd be like, oh my gosh, maybe this is sitting in my inbox or someone wrote in the system school community and uh, I need to follow up with this lead, etc." And I just felt like I was always juggling all these places that I had to check in. I created this recurring check-in task for the morning and evening and it changed my life. I'm not being dramatic. They are really simple. So here's what I do. I also love using emojis, if you couldn't tell. So I have one for AM admin and client check-in. I'll show you guys how to actually create this task in recurring as well. And this is the first thing I do every morning and the last thing I do to wrap up every day. I have quick links for things that I want to check in on and then I have action items. These are the seven things and the places that I have to check in. HoneyBook tasks and leads, system school community, email, Slack, all of my ClickUp calendars, ClickUp goals, and financial check-in. So I will just go through and mark all of these resolved and then mark this as complete. And then my PM one is exactly the same. Maybe you have different things you wanna check in on in the morning and evening, but this just allows me to check in on every single place, even if that means I'm gonna leave an email sitting there until the afternoon check-in or midday to tackle it, at least I know that I had eyes on everything and nothing is urgent. I know what is outstanding. So how do you create these things? You can just do AM check-in task. You can create tasks many different ways in ClickUp. And then I'm gonna assign this to myself and save. And then what you'll do is you can add subtasks or you can add checklist items, whatever you want these to be. Then you are going to click on the start date and due date. So you're gonna do start date and due date are the same day, but you're gonna do time. So let's say you wanna do 9 a.m. to tomorrow, 10 a.m. It's gonna to default to an hour, but you can also change it. Let's say you wanted to do 9.45. You wanted to do 45 minute check-in instead of an hour. So let's do 9.45. And then you're gonna do set recurring daily skip weekends. And then this is super important. You have to create a new task if you are going to be using subtasks or checklist items. The reason being is if you do not click the create new task option, it will not refresh 
your subtasks or checklist items. So once you click save, then this will be good to go. So that is how you set your AM and PM check-in tasks. If you try it and it's amazing, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, so that is the first thing that I do to make sure I stay on top of my ClickUp. The next thing I do is I check my ClickUp inbox. So I have quite a few things right now at the end of the day I have to go through. And these are things that there are sometimes, yes, I will have to check in on things like, here you go, this um, loom is from our designer. So I might click in here and watch the loom, comment back, etc. But I will just go through and be like, okay, here are things that I don't need to follow up on. I'm just going to clear these. And then I'm going to go through if there's something that I have to respond to, I'll go in and respond. If there's something that I have to clear, I'll go through and try to get through as many things as I can. If I know that I want to get to it later, say I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a team check in later, then you can actually snooze a notification and let's say later two hours and it will remove it from view and then it'll pop back up later, which is awesome. You can also mark things as read or unread as well. So I will go through and try to sort through all my notifications as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible, snooze anything I want to get to later. Goal is inbox zero. Is it attainable every single day? No, just like our my Gmail inbox, but I try to keep a hold on this. So here's the thing about ClickUp and systems in general is once you have all of these things set up, you want to make sure that you are cleaning it out and maintaining this system saying, okay, every single morning I'm going to do these things to make sure things aren't cluttering up and I can just clear what is right. I don't need to know task is unblocked and these things are completed. Cool. I saw that Andrea went in and did these things. Awesome. So now I just know that those are done. Okay. So after I do my AM and PM, after I do my AM check-in, I'm checking in on my inbox while I'm doing this to make sure that I'm responding to anything that I need to do. So the third thing, it's kind of in line with both of these things, is just checking in on my team and my tasks. So I will come into my everything view calendar. This is my favorite view of all. If you are new around here, we have a YouTube video called um, Best Ways to Use ClickUp's Calendar View. Highly recommend checking it out. This calendar saves my life. So this is where I am taking a pulse check on my calendar, seeing what I have for the day, checking out our team's calendars to see what is on their workload, and really just getting a pulse check for the day, seeing what is ahead. I also integrate my Google Calendar, so simultaneously I'm looking at my meetings for the day and my tasks for the day, just like prepping myself, getting an idea of my workload and what my team has going on. I don't have these showing now just for like sensitive client information, but that is crucial to my success. And then lastly, after I do those few admin things, I will dive into getting things done. So as well as the ClickUp's calendar view, if I go to week mode, you can actually drag these things right on your calendar. So say I wanted to do this one, work on this task here and this task here. Um, I'll typically block these out either Friday or Sunday and I'll have my week blocked. Newsflash, I didn't do this week because I'm not perfect. <laughs> um, so encouragement to you. Sometimes we have a system and sometimes there are weeks where we just didn't get to it yet. So if I have my time block schedule, I will come in here and just start cranking out the tasks, coming in here, marking this as completed and going on with my day. So that is really it. Maybe that was less than you thought it would be, but those are the things that keep me on track. I have everything set up in my ClickUp. We have other videos on like cleaning out your ClickUp after a quarter or a year or whatever, but on a daily basis, that is my routine. I come in, I do my AM check-in task, I check in on my notifications, my calendar, my team's calendar, and all the places I have to for about an hour, my inbox, 
and then I dive in to my work. So I hope that video is helpful for you in learning how to really have a daily ClickUp routine and stay consistent with the things you've built and really have ClickUp be your ride or die, right? That is the goal. If you want more of the granular nitty gritty, you feel like, okay, this is great, but now I really need to dive into all the features and learn ClickUp better, we have a course for you. So feel free to check out our System School ClickUp course. We also have a ClickUp template vault with 40 plus plus plug and play templates. So we have many resources for you if you really want all the things that you need to set up your ClickUp the right way. Again, I'll make sure to link them in the description below if you wanna check them out. But if you like this video, if it was helpful for you, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you want all the ClickUp tutorials coming your way. With that, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.